Welcome to the podcast where we value laughs with a dash of facts and we always stay relaxed. It's the More Life Podcast. I'm your host, Dash Cash. We back here for episode 14. And shit, you know how we do. Like I said, I was going to be back again this week. Um, let's go ahead and get into the quote for today. And it comes from shit. Your parents should have told you this one. Don't do as I do. Do as you told. And shit, okay, that's for all the followers out there that want to follow behind other people and shit and try to mimic exactly what they do and then they fuck up the whole thing and shit. When people be trying to drop game to them and shit and tell you the right way to do, don't try to do it like me. Do it like yourself. And shit, everybody, people should have told them that one. Though. That's, that's who the quote come from today. But let's go ahead and get into it, though. More life, more everything. More life, more everything. More life, more everything. More life, more everything. Uh, so you know shit. Past couple days, cause I just was here, you know, the other day. Uh, just been chilling, going to work. Um, you know, shit, dealing with my son and everything. He be tweaking, he be acting up, but you know, he at that age, we trying to get him to start sleeping in the room by himself. Cause he be sleeping in the bed with us And um You know shit like all little kids He afraid of the dark It it happens but We gonna get him accustomed to it over the course of time He gonna have to start chilling in there Cause we need the space in the bed And then if we have another baby We can't have both kids in the bed Like shit There ain't gonna be no space And we got a queen It ain't gonna be no space <laughs> But um You know shit dealing with that also just trying to get him ready uh for school because he finna start like pre-k and shit later on this year after he turned four so that's gonna be dope i can't wait till you go there start chilling with other kids and everything i think you'll have fun uh other than that man shit let's say another day closer to the wedding shit another day closer to not stressing saying uh but uh, ready to get that out the way. Finna meet with uh, the bishop later on today. Because he had us read a few Bible verses. Um, what was it? Like Genesis 1, 2, and 3. He had us do those. I think it was Corinthians. Um, then I forget the last one. But he had us do like three of them. Um, you know, shit. It is what it is. Gotta do what gotta do. Uh I don't know, best thing is that they don't ask for no money or nothing to do that. It's, like, really simple shit just to get him to be able to come to the wedding and marry us and stuff. Because you need an ordained person when you get married anyways. Somebody got to, you got to have an official person. Um, And he's officiated by the church. He's official. So, you know, shit, um, have him come. But I'll probably tell him I'll put in some work at the church for real, like, uh, if they plant a garden or something, I can get out there and help. They need help cleaning up out there an event or setting up an event. Anything it could be like shit. They need somebody playing on the drums. I come there. They need somebody to sing in the choir. I got them and shit. Cause I don't believe in really even paying people money necessarily. Like we ain't gotta do it like that. I mean that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But like shit, I'd rather help you out in a different way. Like shit, I didn't gave people rides and everything before they trying to give me gas. And then I nowadays you gotta give me gas money, cause shit, that shit is way overpriced. But uh, before I'm not necessarily tripping though. I just tell them shit, just look out later on. You know shit, it might be something you might be able to help me out with in the future. So I ain't tripping. I believe in you know doing good deeds for other people. You know it's gonna come back in the long run. It's like good karma. And shit, you know, you just get that good juju on you type shit. Shit, what else, though? Uh, dropped another new song called Anejo and Pesos. Y'all check that out on Dash Cash 513 That's my other page. Uh, y'all check that shit out. It's a nice little summer vibe. Shit, some grab a bottle, sip on. Shit, smoke too. Shit, grab your girl, chill with her, do a little jig. You know, you can hit a little... <sighs> little vibe out there, you know, type shit. Go ahead and get it. Um, what else? I think that's all. Let's talk about some sports. Um, shit, we're going to discuss some wrestling. We don't discuss too much wrestling here, but I, I do fuck with it lightweight. Um, so, shit. 
WrestleMania back Backlash. That was the last pay per view. I think it's stupid that it's called WrestleMania Backlash. Like shit, the pay per view used to just be named Backlash, which is obvious. It's the backlash from fucking WrestleMania. It's the month after. They put the WrestleMania backlash shit in front of it to emphasize on um, that that's the backlash from fucking WrestleMania. I I mean, you got to be stupid to not know that that was already implied that it's the backlash from WrestleMania. You know, if you, you get my drift and shit, maybe what I'm saying is too complex for the average person and shit. Maybe that's what they're thinking, that shit was too complex. That's like... A, the other pay-per-view used to be named Judgment Day for SmackDown that came after WrestleMania. Obviously, it's the fucking Judgment Day. Oh, bless you, son. No problem. Obviously, it's the fucking Judgment Day from WrestleMania, though. And shit, it's the day of reckoning after the shit that happened at WrestleMania. I just think that shit is stupid, though. But uh, they got money in the bank. I think that's coming up next, though. I don't know. Or maybe it's something else. I ain't too sure. But... Um, let's see shit, WrestleMania though, Roman Reigns, he had won that, uh, that WWE title from Brock Lesnar and everything, so he's a double champ. Uh, the Usos, his cousins and shit, they had the SmackDown titles, but they ended up winning the Raw ones recently from, uh, Randy Orton and that Matt Riddle dude, so they double champs as well, but Roman Reigns ain't really been there since WrestleMania though, and shit, and he ain't defended neither titles since shit that shit is like the thing wwe fuck up with is when they let somebody hold the titles and not defend them they did that shit with brock lesnar before for many years like and that shit just it devalues the title and shit it kind of makes it worthless <laughs> that shit and also like Rob moran should be there he's paid to be there he's a champion shit He's the face right now for WWE. His ass need to fucking be there. Brock Lesnar wasn't necessarily the face. So, you know, shit. It, it ain't really no problem with him missing some time. But, you know, with Roman Reigns, I don't know. Uh, What else, shit? Sasha Banks and um, Naomi. They had walked out of WWE. They uh were the... What was it like the women's tag team champs which nobody really care about them titles because they treat them like garbage shit even the women's division period like they had they stride like a few years ago like it was a point in time i was like wait fucking with it like that charlotte chick uh rick flair daughter she was a beast sasha banks she a beast in the ring um that bailey she she a g2 alexa bliss she cool um who else they had ember moon she was straight Shit, it's a few other uh, divas. And then even back in the day, like Trish Stratus, Lita, um, Molina, shit. Her, uh, a few other chicks, like, they were straight, but it's like, shit, WWE, they be fucking up the women's division. So Sasha Banks and Naomi, they ain't like the direction that their storyline was finna be going. So they walked out. And it just, the whole situation kind of seemed fishy, though, with me, because, like, WWE, they don't really never talk about nobody just randomly walking out backstage. Even when Stone Cold walked out back in the day, they ain't just bring that shit up, like, but this, they talked about it live on air. They kind of bashed them and shit, like, way too. Uh, so, I mean, shit, we'll see how that shit go. Um, what else? My guy Randy Orton, he taking some time off. Shit. I guess it's well to serve. He a legend. Shit, he used to be the legend killer. Now he the legend. And shit, he, he on that GOAT status, definitely. Um, RKO 2, one of the best finishers out there. Hit that shit out of nowhere on the motherfucker real quick. And he had that punt kick too. He used to fucking decimate niggas. I remember, uh, he hit that nigga Vince McMahon with that shit. I'm just like, bro, my nigga probably dead after that. Because that shit was vicious. Um, but shit, that's all with the wrestling. Uh, football news, shit. And this is going to be a little bit dated because I'm getting back into the swing of things, but... I know Antonio Brown, he was critiquing uh, Colin Kaepernick and shit. He was saying um, how Cap, what'd he do? 
Like, shit, he was doing all that kneeling and shit. But, one, he was still signing Nike, making millions and shit. Uh, I think AB was saying, like, Cap ain't really out there walking with the people and, you know, doing all this. I don't really know. I don't pay attention to Kaepernick. I remember back when he used to be <laughs> kneeling and stuff um, against the anthem or some shit or for the anthem. Yeah, he used to take that knee. But other than that, like, since he got cut from the 49ers back in the day, shit, I ain't seen him too much. I remember he had them tryouts that he ain't show up for, and he did some other shit. Which, speaking of tryouts, I know the Raiders had him come in recently for a workout. But AB was saying, though, nonetheless, Kaepernick still went and got paid. And then later on, shit, he accepted the settlement from the NFL. It's not like you kept on fighting and shit. You just went ahead and settled. So it's like... He said, shit, he ain't rocking with that. Um, also, AB was saying, shit, he wanted to retire as a Steeler. And shit, which, you know, shit, he fell out with them. He ended up going to Oakland after that and shit. Uh, but I think they on good terms now, though. But he said uh, he wants to retire as a Steeler, but not play for them, though. No. Just retire. Because he said he ain't playing this year coming up. I, th <laughs> I think he had, had surgery or something. But, uh, you okay, son? Yeah, I think he has surgery or something, though. And uh, he got to definitely take this year off. But he probably done, period, though. Um, shit. Like I said, though, uh, with the Kaepernick shit, though, he did work out for the Raiders recently. Shit, so we'll see how that go. I mean, I wonder if he performed well. Shit, I think they said, like, he was all right. But, shit, that, I mean, maybe he'll be a backup somewhere. He ain't played in years, so his body, I mean, he ain't got no CTE possibly or nothing like that. Body ain't been broken down, but he will definitely have to get back into the swing of things because shit, once you get back into the motion, it's just, I mean, that shit is a whole another beast versus practicing or just doing some drills and shit. Actually being in the game is a, a whole completely different beast. So we'll see how that turns out for him. Um... The Saints, they assigned Jarvis Landry recently. He used to play for the uh, the motherfucking Browns and shit. He had got cut. But he signed with the Saints. Uh, we'll see how that turned out. I wonder who is their QB. I forget who their QB is. Maybe they look into the draft for one or something. But they might be straight. Shit, who knows? Um, hopefully the Bucks can finally beat them shit because my nigga Tom Brady, for some reason... <laughs> Shit been fucking losing to them every single year and shit. Uh, what else, though? The Broncos, they're up for sale. I seen that. Um, I think Diddy was talking about trying to get them and shit recently. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see who end up buying them. I think it was like some sort of black group because it ain't no black NFL owners and shit. Um, so we'll see. I mean, maybe they'll finally sell to a black person. And shit. Uh, what else? Herschel Walker. You know, um, shit. I think he was a running back, but shit, he was a beast ass nigga. He uh ended up changing his last name to his wife's and shit. He had took her last name. He was saying that um, it just changes the dynamic or some shit. I don't know. He was saying because he got into astrology and his star power was more than hers or something, but. If he takes her last name, then shit, it kind of level them out more, makes them more connected. Also, he said, though, too, his last name comes from his dad, which his dad didn't know his own dad. So, like, they didn't know his grandfather and shit. And they were saying, like, uh, that's not even really possibly his people's and shit. So, he's fine with giving up his last name, Walker. Yeah, but that's all right there for the football and shit. Uh, getting into a little bit of basketball. Of course, the playoffs been going on. And shit, um, we got the Celtics and the Warriors in the finals. Game one was just last night. When I, I was at work and when it was on, but I was catching parts of it in the break. And I remember coming in there, it was like third quarter. The Warriors was up by like 12. Next thing you know, shit, I ain't get to catch the rest, but Bleacher Report pop up saying that the Celtics won. I was like, what? And shit, hey. Typically for me, I say if the road team win the first game 
in the finals, they probably going to go ahead and win that shit. But we're going to see how game two turns out. I think that's on Sunday. But my original pick for the finals was the Warriors. So, I don't know. And you know, shit. I, I don't know. Shit, the Celtics might get it. I might have to switch to the, the Celtics because shit. I fucks with that purple and gold, obviously. And I know my team ain't in the playoffs. But shit, that purple and gold, nigga, and that, that motherfucking uh, yellow and blue. We don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> uh, but nah, shit. Steph, he might. Steph, I think Steph bought out to it. Nah, nah. He had like 21 in the first quarter, right? But the rest of the game, he kind of got shut down. He ain't really dominate the rest of the game. Because I think he ended with like. 36 points or some shit. I don't know. But that means, like, shit. Yeah, you had 21 in the first quarter, but the last three quarters. You only scored, like, 15 points. So, bruh, come on now. That don't mean shit. You need to put up 21 probably in the, the fourth. <laughs> That's probably when you need that shit the most. Um, But we'll see how that shit turn out. I'm interested, you know, in that. that That's going to be a good one. Um, Let's see. What else? Uh, will Steph surpass KD though? If they win, um, I know that shit then popped up on like first take and that skipping Shannon on Undisputed and shit, and a few other uh sports shows. So I mean, it had me thinking because like some people, they saying that like Stephen A. He's saying motherfucking well, Steph is gonna surpass KD if he wins another title. But I'm like, nah, like, shit, no matter what, KD better than Steph. Steph might be able to shoot the ball better than KD, but KD do everything else way better than him. And KD, like, he ain't no slouch when it comes to shooting the ball. He still shoot over 50%, and all his shit is down there, jump shots. Like, bro, that nigga be splashing. It's just a fuck out of here, Stephen A. KD is always going to be better than Steph, but... Steph probably deserved to be in the top 10, though. If he can will his team to finally win in the finals. And, well, if he can finally be the one to do it. Get that finals MVP, he might. Oh, and somebody said he's going to surpass LeBron. That's never going to happen. Steph will never surpass LeBron. Steph will never be on the fucking level where you compare him to Michael Jordan. Come on, now. I think Stephen A. said that shit, too. That nigga was smoking that motherfucking crack. First take, y'all, the ESPN, bro, come on now, check your boy. He definitely was doing the book of sugar before he fucking got on there. Because ain't no way that nigga passing LeBron. Come on now. Uh, What else, though? Shit, uh, the draft lottery was recent and shit. Um, I think the Magic might have got the number one pick. Don't quote me on that, though. I forget, for real, because that was a few weeks ago. But, shit, there wasn't no team off of with. They got the number one pick, so I ain't tripping. But uh, let's see what else. Uh, Jokic, Nikola Jokic from the Denver Nuggets, he won MVP again. So, yeah, back-to-back -back MVP. Still got bounced by the motherfucking Warriors and shit. Was that the first round? Did he do a first round exit or was that the second round? I don't know. I think that might have been the first round. But see, he still got bounced. Like, bro, he can't will his team to winning and shit. The furthest he got, I think, was uh when they played the Lakers in the bubble and shit. And that was the conference finals. But other than that, he don't be doing shit. Like, them, them regular season numbers don't mean shit. I think they need to at least judge that MVP shit probably off the regular season and maybe, like, the first two rounds. See how that go. And shit, um, but what else? Motherfucking, uh, Giannis, he got a biopic being developed by Disney Plus and shit coming out. I'm gonna check that out, because, like, Giannis, he come from humble beginnings and everything. I know he, uh, comes from Greece. He said he was poor. He used to have to, like, sell little handbags and shit like that. Bullshit, like, if you go to New York, what the Africans be selling, and Giannis is African, so shit, he would probably fit right in over there on Canal Street and shit uh but i'm interested in seeing you know how that goes and shit him training to be a motherfucking uh nba star and i think he used to play soccer too when he was growing up 
and shit. So, shit probably be cool. Other than the accent, I'm gonna be getting weak at the fucking accent probably <laughs> the whole time. But shit, uh, I'm gonna check that out. What else? Uh, Jalen Brown too from the Celtics. He has signed with Down to Sports. He's the first athlete to sign with Kanye West uh, sports agency. So shit, we'll see um, if he can get other people to fuck with him. Shit, we'll see how that goes for them. But what else though? Uh, a couple weeks ago, they was talking about like Gobert, uh, Rudy Gobert versus Shaq. Like if they went up against each other, I think Rudy Gobert was saying uh, he could shut down Shaq or whatever. <laughs> and that shit was funny, bro. Cause I'm just like, this little nigga must not know. Shaq will eat his ass the fuck up. Bro, come on now. If Ben Simmons was giving this nigga the work, if Joel Embiid be giving this nigga the work, Giannis be giving this nigga the fucking work. Gobert, what do you think Shaq is going to do with you? Come on now. This little French pussy ass. I don't, I don't even mean to call him that. My bad, my bad. Let me take that back. That shit. Because, you know, shit, we... Shaq is a Laker, and I'm, I, I rep the Lakers for life, so shit, I mean, I gotta go hard for my nigga Shaquille O'Neal and shit, but, it's just period, even if I ain't fuck with the Lakers, niggas, no, the closest thing to Shaq is if you watch Giannis today, how he be putting it on niggas' heads, but Shaq was like, he was getting this team to dub, this nigga have like, 40 points, 20 rebounds type shit, five blocks, some shit, bro. He, Shaquille O'Neal was a monster, nigga, a monster. Go, bro. Then they don't want no smoke with fucking Shaq. Shaq could probably put it on his ass right now. <laughs> and shit. Uh, what else though? Shit. Um, that nigga Rajon Rondo, tweaking. He pulled out the strap on his kid's mom and shit. And uh, he was accused of verbally assaulting her and the kids and shit. I think he was like, they said he was jacking up the kids. Or she said he had like jack up their son and stuff. And because uh, their son would be crying and shit, just being soft, jack him up, tell him like not nah, toughen up type shit. But apparently be talking to him reckless and all that shit. Uh, he pulled the gun out on her in front of the, the kids or whatever. So. It's kind of putting him in danger or whatever, but we don't know if it's true or not. Shit, um, that was about like a week or so ago. I ain't heard nothing else about it. Um, but we'll see, man. Shit, hopefully everything's straight. Hopefully that nigga ain't wildin'. But he damn near the end of his career anyways. And I remember, hold on, like, it might have been a year or so ago. Somebody said he pulled out the strap when it was in a parking lot or a parking garage or something. So I don't know. Rondo crazy, um, <laughs> yeah, that nigga crazy, but, uh, shit, I was thinking too, though, like, um, with KD and Kyrie, right, did they, did they make the wrong decision leaving their teams, cause shit, KD could have still been with the Warriors, he could have been back in the finals after he got healthy, um, Kyrie used to play with the Celtics, but he went there and flamed out. Shit, his first season, he played a little bit, then got injured. Second season, tried to play with him after coming back from injury. It wasn't clicking or nothing like that and ended up leaving. So it's like, shit, did they make the wrong decisions? Shit, they had just stuck it out. Like, shit. Uh, who knows, man? <laughs> KD should have just been getting rings for real. But he probably wanted to prove that he can lead a team to the, the motherfucking championship. So I can feel him on wanting to lead. But, I mean, shit. It is what it is. Shit. <laughs> I guess he don't give a fuck, probably. Um, Draymond was saying, like, Steph was the most important person on their team, though, during that finals run. Which I'm like, shit, nah, KD probably was. I think they would have lost, definitely, after that, if KD wasn't there. I don't think they was going to beat the Cavs and shit the next year. Also, um, Draymond was saying something about, uh, what was it like? Steph got seven, dub seven times more double teams or some shit like that than KD. I don't think so. I mean, I, I think he got 
double team more than KD for sure. But it was like, I just feel like they had so many pieces too on the, the motherfucking court where it's like, bro, it's always somebody open. That's just like, they can splash that shit. Either KD was open, Steph was open, Clay was open, Draymond's shitty ass was open and shit. Um, it's always something. And shit. Um, but what else though? Shit. Uh, also, I seen the Nets and Nike. They said they're not offering extensions right now for Kyrie and shit. So he signed a Nike with the shoes. Kyrie got some fire ass shoes and shit. If y'all ever got them, I wish I had my parent here right now and shit. Um, I'll be showing that shit off. Like, bro, fucks with the Kyries, but they probably not extending his shit because they don't know how he finna be in the NBA. Like, shit, half the time he don't want to play shit you know you just can't be dealing with that same thing with the nets like it's just half the time like uh Kyrie don't want to be out there he got something personal mental going on or whatever shit he didn't want to get the vaccine so shit he couldn't play which I feel like is bullshit they they shouldn't be on that because that's bullshit but that's the policy they got so it's like bro if you want to be in the NBA you getting paid these dollars nigga you gotta conform to this shit that's the price you gotta pay and shit, he act like he don't want to do that, so it is what it is, um, Darvin Ham, I think that's his name, he the new Lakers coach, um, I believe they said he was the Bucks assistant coach or something like that, and also, I mean, they showed the picture, he played for, uh, the Detroit Pistons, and he from Saginaw, so he shouts out to him, he from up the way, you know, I'm from Flint, so he right down the block, from where I'm from, uh, shouts out to him, you know, shit, whenever I see somebody make it from shit up that way, or even hear from the Natty, bro, I always feel good and shit, like, and he coaching my team, though, like, shit, that's the Lakers, bro, that's my team and shit, like, bro, Kobe, that's my nigga, my son, middle name is Kobe, he named after Kobe and shit, his, uh, due date was Kobe Bryant's birthday and shit back in 2018, that was his due date, so I was like, shit, I had to name him, shit, at the, my nigga Kobe, R.I.P. to the bean, um, you know, shit, hopefully Darvin Ham knows, shit, he get him together, I think he said he's fine with coaching Westbrook, getting him together and shit, um, he's been getting praises from motherfucking, uh, who was it? Draymond Green was giving him praises. I think uh, maybe Shannon Sharp was giving him praises. LeBron, shit, all that. I know LeBron said he wanted him as a coach before, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, also, Mike Brown, shit, former LeBron coach from the Cavs. And shit, also, he was the coach for the Lakers for a little bit. Um, he is the Sacramento Kings new coach, so we'll see how he does. I think uh, he has spent the last few years with the Warriors as an assistant coach. And, you know, he's good with the defense, so he should have, uh, what's his name? Shit, Marvin Bagley and fucking uh, De'Aaron Fox saw them. Shit, their defense should uh, be boosted with the presence of Mike Brown on the sideline. Uh, shit, that's all I got for sports, though. Now, let's get into some quick hits. So, uh, I've seen Congress plans to ban abortion laws, which is that Roe vs. Wade. Um, shit, I think it's just... I don't I don't really know how to feel, because, like, on one side, you get an abortion, you're killing a kid. It kind of def- depends on, like, how far along you are to me. So, like, say if you in the first, like, two months... Bro, that baby ain't ain't even got no heartbeat or nothing to me. Like, bro, shit, go ahead. It ain't gonna be no memory. But if you like four, five months, nah, I can't really rock with that. But also in general, shit, for me and like my family, we ain't getting no abortions because we pumping them kids out. Like, shit, that's the whole goal of life is to have kids. You know, shit, expand the the world. It's just, I feel like they shouldn't ban the abortion laws probably just because people are allowed to do what they want to, though. So, like, <sighs> it's literally up to you if you want to get an abortion or keep the child. It depends on if you feel like you have the funds to go ahead and take care of that child. If you're in a situation mentally to take care of the child, like, shit, it could be whatever. So, um, you know, I mean, it's just, we'll see if that shit ends up happening. 
uh, if Roe vs. Wade is overturned. We'll see if that shit goes down. What else? Uh, Derek Chauvin, the guy that had killed George Floyd, uh, he had a plea deal approved by a judge and got sentenced to 20 to 25 years, which is not a lifetime sentence. I think some people wanted him to get a lifetime sentence, but you got to think about this one. He's already older, probably like mid 40s or something. So shit, 60 is when he getting out. I mean, or 60 something earliest. He gonna be an old ass dude. I mean, he might kill himself doing 20 years. That's a fucking long time and shit. But they might let this nigga get out on like good behavior or something, which would be foul. Hopefully that shit don't happen. Like, he need to serve his time because, like, he was on burnt neck for a hella long. Shit, whether he killed dude or not, shit, I just felt like that was excessive force, period. Shit, even if George Floyd was still living, it's still excessive force. So I just felt like that shit was foul. Um, so he should serve some time, and this should be an example to all the other cops out there that want to be rough. And this is fuck all the black versus white shit with this one. This is any cops. It's been black cops out there, too, that's been rough with motherfuckers and then fucked them up. So, shit, any cop out there that's trying to be rough with motherfuckers, this should be a lesson to you, bro. Take it easy. It's not that serious. Just because you was a pussy in school and you got bullied, don't mean you got to take it out on the next man that's trying to make it home to his kids. And shit, fuck all the bullshit. Um, what else, though? Motherfucking uh, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> the co-founder, what's her name? Patrice Cullors. She uh, used the charity funds that she been getting, which has been millions and shit to pay her brother and her baby daddy and shit, which I don't know if she wear her baby daddy. I hate even calling somebody that. I feel like that's kind of demeaning her child's father and shit. Um, I don't know if they're together, but they pay. She paid both of them sums of cash for various services, such as I think she put on there like security and some other shit driving or whatever like bullshit type shit that you could just write off so she probably was sliding these niggas cheese but um paul colors which i think is her brother she gave him 840 racks and shit which bro that's hella cheese what else she do she bought that house or whatever um i think it's other properties that she got and shit Oh, the dude, uh, her her child's father and shit. Um, she gave him nine hundred seventy thousand. Damn, <laughs> I should have had a kid with this bitch. Damn, sign out. <laughs> but damn, she just throwing cheese around and shit, throwing cheese. Um, she gave him that though to help produce live events as well as other creative services. That shit sound like bullshit. Yeah, that shit sound like bullshit. <laughs> pure, pure, pure bullshit. And nah, I can't, I can't rock with that one. This shit, and it's like Black Lives Matter started off as something that was supposed to be positive, like getting us together and shit. And they, it's like eventually everything gets turned into a money play. That's what always happens. They flip it in the let's get money off this. How can we exploit this shit like this? It's always some bullshit. Um, next up, here in Ohio, right? Uh, I think it was up near Springfield or something like that. There was a, no, it's actually Forest Park. There was a 15 year old boy and shit. His father had told him he had to go to sleep. Shit, it was bedtime. He told him shit. Time to turn everything off and go ahead, chill, go to sleep. So little bruh, shit, he was mad. He went and got his father's gun because he knew where it was at and shot this nigga. I don't know if they were white or black. I mean, shit. I, bruh, for real, I want to say like a white kid, but bruh, to be honest, the way shit is today, bruh, it could be white, black, Hispanic, anybody. You never know. And shit, um, that's just wild shit, though. Of course, the father, he said he don't want to necessarily press charges, but the son can't come back and stay with him. Which, of course, bro, like, you can't trust this little nigga. Then he got uh, two other siblings as well. Like, his siblings is afraid and shit that they might be in danger or whatever. It's just, that shit wild. 
I wonder what's going through little bro head. Maybe playing them games. Maybe he was mad. His dad told him he had to get off the game. A lot of games kids play these days are shooting games. I don't know. Um, I'm not the type to really say like games dictate who you become. Cause shit, I play Call of Duty and Halo and all that shit, and I play hooping games and all that, and I didn't turn into being any of that shit. Like so, um, who knows though? Like maybe he just. He decided to take out his anger in real life. I don't know. Low burn needs some help, but also he needs to be locked up. Shit, you got to know it's consequences to every fucking thing that you do in life. Uh, what else? Also here in Ohio, right up the road in Coleraine and shit. That's right up the road from here in Cincinnati. For real, that's basically Cincinnati, a suburb and shit. Um, there were high school students. They labeled the two water fountains. One was labeled blacks only the other one was labeled whites only and shit and it was an uproar and everything over that uh to be real i don't know what the kids look like that put it up but i honestly could see that being just a little joke and shit like i could see us doing some shit like that in high school some smack shit blacks only whites only like bro i'm not even offended by the shit it's funny i mean it could be some racist undertone to it but to be real shit i don't know it's a funny joke as long as it ain't no like malicious intent i didn't hear of any students getting like called any racist things up there and i mean co rain they are filled with hella white people so i mean shit you never know um but i ain't heard of like people being racist and shit there you know people getting attacked or anything like that so shit it probably just was a little joke that people just overreacting to. But that's some funny shit though. Whites only, blacks only on the water fountains. I definitely would have did that shit when I was in high school. Um, what else shit? Elon Musk, uh, I seen he had allegedly paid 250K to a former SpaceX employee to settle a sexual misconduct case. Um, they said that shit, he called her into the office and then he got naked and proposition for sex. You know, shit basically probably got butt ass naked, told her shit, like, come on, let's fuck or some shit like that. Uh, who knows shit if that's real or not. He just bought Twitter recently, so I mean shit, it's gonna be people that wanna bash his name and shit like that. Probably people that formerly worked at Twitter or whoever was the owner before might be somebody in it. Whenever you uh, reach that next level of fame and having money and shit the allegations always gonna come out it's always some bullshit they gonna put out there to try to bring you down so who knows if he did though do that shit he a wild boy and shit i mean he paid 250k apparently so shit if he did i mean he had to come out them pockets um shit this was like a, a couple weeks ago i wish i could have talked about it sooner but that, uh, that fucking Juneteenth ice cream and shit at Walmart, like Walmart rolled that shit out and I seen they already canceled it like real quick. But, um, it's just crazy. The marketing behind Juneteenth. I knew once they made this shit a holiday last year, they was going to be eating cheese off this. Like with growing up for me, like, bro, I always celebrated Juneteenth with my family up in Michigan, like, bro, it's a whole Juneteenth festival celebration every single year and shit, so Juneteenth is nothing new to me and shit, that's something new to everybody down here. A lot of people that I encounter, they ain't never heard of that shit, for real, and it's crazy because it's like, I mean, shit, it's an actual historical thing where, like, the blacks, they finally, the final ones was emancipated from slavery and shit. But also, I mean, it's kind of like a, a thing where it's like, why do we even celebrate that shit? Like, they decided to give us freedom. We didn't fight and get it. It's like, uh, if we was comparing it to like July 4th, where the United States gained independence, at least the United States, we built up our own army and fought the British army and shit and ended up taking them out because we knew the land over here. They came here to fight. We didn't go to them to fight. They came here and shit. The, Brit the British people that was still there, they didn't know the land of America and shit. So we knew all the hiding spots. We knew how to navigate the lands and shit here um, to take them out. You know, the red coats versus the blue coats and shit. I don't know if they still teach that shit in school, though. Um, but we learned about all that shit. But uh, nonetheless, deviating from the situation, the Juneteenth shit. 
we celebrated that shit every year growing up with my auntie she took us there um and now i guess shit because they want to fake black empowerment on some some shit it's all just a money ploy bro like the black lives matter was just talking about that shit everything else they do that they claim they doing for black motherfuckers bro this shit is just for money you see the t-shirts that's being pumped out signs being pumped out everything bro the marketing it's all for that this shit is it's all fake fugazi shit bro um but they canceled that juneteenth ice cream now i mean shit it's probably gonna be uh that rollback price y'all might be able to get that ice cream for the low i think it was like cheesecake mixed with red velvet or something for real that ice cream probably would have hit i ain't even gonna hold you that motherfucking shit probably hit but y'all gonna that they, they canceled it so shit i mean you know um so shit uh this is the tough part of the quick hits because tragic news i mean shit i know y'all know probably it's hard to not have heard about like the recent tragedies auto mass shootings going on recently um could start with the white kid i think it was like 19 or some shit like that or 18 yeah he was a kid pretty much though shot off the supermarket up there in buffalo um he said that he was specifically targeting the black community with his attack he had put out manifestos online shit uh i think he went live and everything was saying how he was finna go and kill the people but it's like they didn't shut his shit down nothing was flagged bro if i put up a fucking video saying i'm gonna kill anybody my shit is getting flagged i could put up a video saying suck my dick and they gonna flag that shit as profanity i put up a video smoking weed bro they gonna take my shit down but a motherfucker can literally put up a manifesto saying they finna kill people. Whether it's white people killing black people, blacks killing Hispanics or Asians. It don't matter what the fuck it is, bro. Anybody putting up some shit like that online, they should be flagged. Y'all want to flag for everything else, bro. Get these niggas that's really trying to cause harm to people. Like, literally, I say a prayer every single day. And a part of that prayer is like, shit, make sure I and the people around me do not bring harm to others like whatever goal we're trying to achieve in life please take out putting harm to anybody because shit that's not what we here to do um but this motherfucker though and shit he was also suspended from school the previous year for making racist remarks and threats to the students there so he already had a previous history y'all knew he was bound to do some shit like this his parents was trying to say, oh, he's been trapped in the house because the pandemic and COVID and all this shit or whatever, saying that caused him to go crazy. Bro, they always make up some ploy for white shooters or I say anybody that's not black, bro, when they be shooting, they get the fucking specialty victim treatment. But if it is a black guy, bro, they're going to throw up that mugshot, bro, before, or they're going to throw up some hood picture and shit that this motherfucker got on Facebook all the time and shit, um... But I did get charged though. The, the white dude that shot him up at the supermarket, he got charged with 10 counts of murder, as he should. At first, they was only trying to charge him with one count of murder and shit, which is some fuck shit. Um, they know that shit was not gonna slide <laughs> at all. But now it's uh, the 10 counts for show, so shit. They need to throw the death penalty at this motherfucker, because I, I feel like it's a life for a life, to be honest. Um, and you know, these people was just trying to go to work or go shopping, whatever the case may be, man. Uh, I think a security guard was trying to save the people. He ended up getting killed too. And it's just, shit is fucked up, man. RIP to all them condolences to their family. And shit, um, like shit, this is another thing, same thing, like down in Texas and shit. Uh, what is it? Uvalde or some shit. It was a guy, a 19 year old shit or something like that um he went to an elementary school and started killing the kids and she killed like 19 kids and two teachers and bro it's just like that shit right there heartbreaking because i got a little kid and i got little nieces and nephews and i just think about but they're not doing no crazy shit man why 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 do you gotta target the kids like literally the other day when i was reading it and it first was popping up, bro. It was hard for me to hold back the tears just because, like, like, on some real shit, bro, that shit is heartbreaking. 
like in condolences to their families and shit. I cannot imagine my kid going through that. And I know some of the parents are trying to run in because like, bro, your kid trapped inside this school with a shooter. You doing whatever you can possibly do to save your baby's life. Like I know me, I'm doing whatever I possibly can, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't have no weapons. I don't need no weapons. I'm going in there to get my kid by any means necessary. I'm going to die trying and shit. It's, it's just that. Um, but the guy, shit, he, uh, I guess they say he was being bullied and shit before by people at his high school for dressing like a bum ass nigga and shit like that. But it's like he had the money to afford a uh, assault rifle and fucking tactical gear or whatever and shit you know like the armor like the vest and all that shit like he was able to afford that so it's like if you get inflamed for wearing bummy clothes you gonna go spend that shit on some guns nigga instead of getting fresh bro i'm about to spend that shit to get fresh so i can go back to school stunting on all these niggas bro and dude looked like he was a pussy ass nigga anyways i think they say he was trying to be a transgender or some shit i don't know bro he is a weirdo anyways, bro. And that shit, no offense to any transgender shit. I mean, y'all do what y'all gotta do. But this dude in particular, man, fuck this dude and shit. You know, he a piece of shit. His parents trying to take up for him or whatever. Saying he's been trapped in the house. He gets bullied and shit. He's not a bad guy. He just happened to go off the rails or whatever. The father blaming it on the mother. Because the father didn't live with him. Or nothing like that, but he's saying like he blames the mom and shit for uh, how everything played out. Which I mean, shit, you just you never know, man. That shit was sickening, like utterly sickening and shit. Like just he a pussy ass dude. Why not? I mean, I I hate any type of school shootings because like even if you went back to his school and shot up the teenagers there. It's like, bro, I still think about when I was a teen, like, shit, I'm damn near 30 now, like, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I got shot up at high school and shit and died. So I don't want to see no kids die and shit. I don't want to see no young person die. I want everybody to fucking make it to old age and shit. To be honest, you got to experience it all and shit. Because even if you do the wrong shit in life, like, hopefully you can go ahead and learn right. Get your life right and shit. Hopefully you make amends for whatever you did, dude, that was fucked up and shit. But dude ended up getting killed in the long run and shit. And the police, this is the thing, like, shit, conspiracy on this whole thing and shit. Like, bro, the police was driving around the parking lot, seeing bruh outside in the parking lot and apparently drove past him. But then seen an the officer out there and started talking to him. Like, you don't see a nigga holding a big-ass fucking assault rifle and he got on tactical gear. Come on, now, that shit sounds sort of set up. And then also, the officers apparently waited, like, 50 minutes before busting in the classroom. And I could feel, they were saying, like, they don't want to just rush in because he could start shooting. But, nigga, 50 minutes, I'm, he's not getting that chance with me. Like, nah, and fuck that, bro. He killed, like, two classrooms of kids and the teachers, bro. Come on now. Y'all could have stopped this motherfucker from doing this shit. And it, it's damn near at the point, bro. I'm going to have to send my kid to school with a fucking strap eventually and shit. Because if a motherfucker bust in, my son finna save everybody probably, or save who he can. Shit, he know he making it out. These teachers need to be strapped. Whatever shit. Joe Biden want to send fucking money to Ukraine for all this other bullshit. Nigga, get fucking security in the schools. That's what we need and shit. We need somebody protecting these people and shit that's defenseless and shit. Also, I mean, I'm not opposed to the ban on the assault rifles. I would be opposed to a ban on all guns. I feel like shit, at this point, we probably need something to protect us a little bit more. But also, guns was probably one of the worst inventions ever and shit. Just because the damage and destruction that it do to life, period. And shit, um, but... They should probably ban all assault rifles if you can fucking get a bazooka, whatever shit. I mean, even, I want to say even hunting rifles can be deadly. But shit, I understand you might want to go and shit, shoot some deer. It is people out there that's not doing well shit. Like, they probably need more of an extensive background check. I think it probably should be like a month to maybe two month process to get a gun where you actually do a psychological 
process on these motherfuckers that's getting the guns and shit. See if like their reasoning for getting the guns stay the same or if it changes each time they go. Pay attention to their mannerisms, how they doing shit. Motherfuckers might need to get drug tested too and shit just to get a gun. I'm not even gonna hold you like shit. Whatever they need to do because crazy motherfuckers get guns and shit. And like shit, to quote my nigga DMX from uh, Romeo Must Die, shit, he said, guns don't kill people, people kill people, which is the truth, shit. The guns ain't just firing off on motherfuckers. It's crazy people that's out there getting the straps that's deciding to go and kill everybody and shit. Whatever their reasoning is and shit. Another thing, like, uh, I was thinking, like, shit on that conspiracy tip with it. What if, um,. It is like a sacrifice type shit, cause like I think bro was Hispanic or something. The Hispanics are typically like into Catholicism and shit like that. But I know sometimes they take that shit to the extreme though. And uh like I said, the dad was blaming the mom, but like what if uh she was kinda brainwashing them and shit and like Getting them to think like, all right, yeah, the sins need to be cleansed and shit like that. You got to take the innocent and wipe them out type shit. Like, that's why he targeted the little kids and shit. Like, it's just, I don't know. People do these rituals and shit. I swear y'all probably think it's just bullshit. A lot of y'all probably just think it's bullshit. But legit, these motherfuckers do rituals and shit. It's a reason why it's a such thing as Satanism, the cabalism and shit. Y'all see these this shit in movies. It's not made up. It's real shit, bro. Come on, it's real shit. Like, and it just happened. You could be anybody. Like, so they they pick and choose certain ones, but sometimes it's not, bro. They just do these rituals and shit. I mean, also all the killings could be going on shit because uh, when I think it was another shooting at a, a doctor's office too. Yeah, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it was another shooting there, but the guy was like specifically targeting the doctor, but he killed like four or five people or something like that. I don't know. He said anybody that got in his way, he was blasting. But this shit could be going on just so they could ban guns as well. Maybe shit have these mass shootings. All my Alex Jones out here, you know. All my Alex Jones shit. All these shootings could be going on. Mass shootings going off crazy shit just so they could get to banning guns. Because, like, without 9-11 happening... They would have never been doing them extensive searches on people that's getting on airplanes and shit. People probably would be bringing wild shit on planes if it went for 9-11 happening. So um, everything got to go down for a reason and shit. But man, once again, RIP to all the victims that have lost their life. Condolences to all their families out there and shit. Um... You know, shit, I mean, I'm going to say a quick little prayer. My prayer I say every day. Shit, thank you, God, for blessing us to wake up and see the day. Please continue to bless us to see another day. Please continue to keep us all safe, healthy, strong, and on a straight and righteous path. And on the path to happiness and positivity and prosperity in life. God, please keep us all striving, thriving, surviving, providing, grinding, and trying. All under the guidance you've been giving us. God, please continue to wake us up to head towards our highest potential. Keep us all clear-headed, clear-minded, free-spirited without bringing harm to other individuals. And please keep us just spending plenty more time with our friends, family, and loved ones. Thank you, God, for everything you do and all your blessings. I love you. Amen. And uh, that's all I got for quick hits. Now let's get into the last part of the pod, which is uh, the conspiracy theory of the week. I already had the one conspiracy on, um, you know, the gun control and everything. Um, but this conspiracy, though, right here is that the black British actors, they're taking jobs from the black American actors and shit. If you look at guys like, uh, I think his name Daniel Kaluuya, or, which is the guy from Get Out. He also played in Black Panther as well. Um... Even Lupita uh, Nyong'o, whatever the fuck her shit. Yeah, Lupita something. Her, the dude that played King the Conqueror on Loki and shit, and he finna be in other Marvel movies. I think he was also on, uh, he's in the movie with Idris Elba. Idris Elba, that's another one too, shit. Um, it's plenty. But they're British actors. They come here and they start doing an American accent. They play American black people, basically. Even though they have... 
I don't want to say they have no knowledge of how we came up, but their way of living is completely different from ours. It's an inauthentic role. Like, bro, they would have, they'd be telling like the most truest black stories that had a director behind it saying, yeah, we're trying to get these black stories out, you know, by using our people doing such and such. Like, I mean, no offense to them, but them black people from Britain, they ain't us. Black people from Africa, they ain't us. Like, shit. We've been here for generations. I mean, shit, this is a whole new race. We not African, like, shit, we are Americans. We the black Americans and shit. Like, we got a completely different culture than what they got going on there and shit. Um, so I feel like, really, it should only be black Americans playing black American roles. Black British people should play black British roles. Same thing with, like, a British person, a white British person shouldn't be playing no fucking white American role. They don't know about what we got going on over here. And shit. Now, if you're an international spy like James Bond type shit, okay, I can see. Because you, you know, you internationally know. But shit, bro, keep it to like how we are. Like, I want it to be authentic stories type shit. And really, it, it don't even matter. But shit, um, like I said, they're taking our jobs. And shit, they're taking our jobs. But that's it, though, for the Conspiracy Theory of the Week. Um, and that's it for the podcast, for real. Shit, y'all know shit, y'all at the place where we say what the fuck we want. We do what the fuck we want. Don't forget to check out my other page, Dash Cash 513 where I uh, released a new song recently, Anejo and Pesos. Um, also, I'm planning on starting to do the podcast live next week if i can i made me a twitch account dash cash 513 or dash type 513 something like that i'm gonna get it together soon but um i'll be able to do it live there and then just share it directly to youtube so should make everything more easy breezy and shit you know easy breezy that's what i'm looking for but um you know shit i hope everybody stay blessed out there keep their head on straight and shit not i hope y'all find me back here next week I'm your boy Dash to the cash. <laughs> and I'ma catch y'all. Peace.